Well, hello guys, welcome to The Grave Digger. This game just came out on July 31st. It's available on Steam for about eight bucks right now on sale. I think it'll go back up to 10 when the sale's done. To the dev for sending me a key to check out. And we gotta go find the Reverend. Oh man, it's cool. Very creepy, very creepy. Look at the red picture over here. All right. Guest room. Locked right now. There's the Rev. It's about time you showed up. There's much work to be done. Before we get started, go grab that shovel over there. Over where? Right. Grab the shovel. It's about time. You see, we need to make money. Alas, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and he hasn't been too kind to us lately. We can't operate on tithings alone. So, we need to do something else. You will be digging up graves. The occupied ones. The ones with the lifeless inside. Head outside here and pick any grave with a marker. Dig it up, grab the casket by its handle, and bring it back here. All right. Then put it on the table. You are now, a creepy dude. Get to it. Kind of looks like the guy from Hello Neighbor a little bit, doesn't he? Huh. All right. So we find a grave, dig it up. There is no sprint button, I think. So it's just us in the world. Wow. Is this not ominous or what? We dig this one up right here? Let's do it. Once you dig it up, it's kind of hard to turn. Probably it's hard to turn in real life. All right, we'll push it back. Good. Now open it. Yes, sir. Crowbar. Holy. You find of value. Oh, man. The wrists, the neck, all around the body. All right, so we grab the valuable stuff. A value. Do you have a necklace? They won't be missing it. <laughs> it's not a necklace. Sometimes these caskets can have apartments built into them by the feet. Check them if you're able. They could have expensive items inside. You'll need a lockpick to open them. Get more online if you run out. I see the one ring. When you're done, close the casket and move it back onto the cart. Yeah, I only see the one ring. That's all I see. No nose, nose pier piercings or anything like that. Nothing. Doesn't have a hidden compartment either. You can see. Now take it back, bury it, and bring me another. And be quick about it. I expect three digs at night. Afterwards, you may sleep in the bedroom down the hall. Use the computer to purchase anything you might need. Whatever you find, you must put in the alms box on top of the altar out front. I will handle selling everything in the morning and give you your cut. By the way, if you find anything interesting, leave it on the mat on top of the altar. All right. Pretty simple.
This guy's got a ring, a bracelet, and a necklace. Oh, he's loaded. Also something down here. Burnt bones. So these burnt bones go up on the next to the altar, next to where we place the items. Uh, so, all right. Found a left bone. So the other part of the game is this demonic entity that is trying to gain power by placing corrupting symbols all around the church. The longer these symbols remain active, the stronger the demon will become and the more the corruption will spread. Holding a crucifix next to the corruption will clear it away. So we have to find these things somewhere. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, so we have to put a crucifix. Or the demonic entity will gain power. So, kind of the, what the, you're battling, I guess. And then if you go over here, back to the room. This is where we place the items that we found. $52, and then we place the bone here. So, our room is over here, where we're going to sleep, and our computer is here. There's a key here, gate key obtained. So we have a hundred bucks. Let's go ahead and buy a crucifix. That'll come tomorrow. So you can spend a little extra money and get it today, but I think we're good on the... Bring back my bones. Weird. Okay, so we'll get that tomorrow, and we'll take care of that demonic. Hopefully it doesn't kill us tonight. Hopefully. Got a necklace and a ring. No bones. See if he has something secret down here. Ah, he does. Okay. Heck yeah. Take all that money. This thing's getting a little bigger. I'm not sure I'm going to survive the night. There is a gate back here. Does this key work for it? Oh, it does, but man, it's dark. I think we'll come back here with a flashlight. I can't see anything at all. We'll, uh, we'll buy a flashlight from the uh, store and come back. $217 from all that stuff we found. Nice. Oh, man. Is that creepy or what? You gonna come, like, tickle me in bed? Or what are you gonna do, man? Oh, man, that's creepy. We survived night one. We made 290 bucks. The demon grows stronger. Whoa! So is the thing gone now? Cool! Use the crucifix to get rid of that. I thought I bought a flashlight, but apparently it's a black light, I guess, which you use to find things on graves, on bodies. So we might have to go out to that thing in the dark. We have another crucifix. I bought a black light, but like I said, I don't know where it went. So we can buy lock picks, you can buy chalkboards. There's a... What is that? You guys hear that? It was like a knock. Man, this game is weird. Oh, there's some weird noises going on. That's so weird. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! Holy God! Oh 
<laughs> yeah, that was a little jump scare, guys. Oh my god. My hair is standing up. My hair is standing up. Wow. Okay, um, let's get back to work, I guess. Alright, so we do have a flashlight, I guess. I don't know if I just bought it. I think I didn't bought it, or what? But I do have a flashlight. Let's go check out this area back here. Little trail, creepy trail. There's something back here. There's more graves back here. Oh, this is cool, like a crypt or something. No way. You have nothing to place here, so you can place things over here. Can you place the bones over here, maybe? Because in our room it says, bring back my bones. I wonder if we need to bring the bones over here instead. Maybe. Interesting. Whoa, there's that dude again. Um, does that mean I can't go that direction? Okay, I'll not let him stand there. Let's, uh, I shut, I can't turn on any lights. It's very dark. How do I get rid of this guy? I, I can't even see anything. Can you, like, get out of here, dude? Oh, okay. There we go. So he's gone. All right. Can I turn on lights now? Yes. Okay, old boy's uh, haunting the bathroom now. Let's go get our crucifix that we bought. Take care of that. Dude, that dude's creepy. Just hanging out. I guess you could put the crucifix in the room. Looks like it. You can set it up. Like on the... There's another one. What the heck? Alright. Let's grab some stuff off this guy. No bones. There. Oh, there's another ring, though. We'll grab that. Let's see if he's got a secret compartment. No secret compartment. Okay. Well, let me pick up the bone. I can pick up this bone, so maybe we need to take this bone back to the, uh, that, whatever that thing is. The crypt over there. I bid by the run speed, I can move a little faster now, too, which is kind of nice. Alright, well, I tried ordering the crucifix and a lockpick. I did them immediately, and they're not delivered, so I don't know where they go when you do the automatic, the, the quick delivery, so I can't do anything about the locked. My lights keep turning off. I don't know if they get delivered, like, out. oh, here they are. Ah! They go over here, then? Yeah, there we go. Well, there's my black light there that I ordered. Oh, cool. Okay. There's my lock picks. There's my crucifix. Go deal with this real quick. And then there's another one up here. I think. I heard it. And then here. There it is. This one's probably been here a while, too. Ah! Whoa, what's going on? Uh. 
thinking something's behind me. Okay, let's open up these. Coinage. Some coinage. I hope that's worth a lot. Let's try out that black light real quick. What does that do? Let you see anything? No. Guess not. Okay. Can I just put this over here? No, I have to put it back, don't I? Okay. Jesus, this guy. Holy man. The jump scares in this game are just... They're... I, I dread them, honestly. I really do. I dread them. Oh my gosh. Hundred and fifty two bucks. That doesn't seem like a lot. For everything I did, but I guess that's what we gotta do. Well, um, I guess that's gonna call it a day. We gotta shut our door, turn off this light, turn off this light, turn off our PC, and go to bed. Hey, we received 172 bucks. Corruption cleared four, corruption remaining two. Packages have been delivered. Uh-oh. Gotta clear out some corruption. I hope I'm not missing some of these body parts and stuff. I'm just not seeing them at all. No lock. Let's go grab the black light and just double check. Sure, I'm not missing something here. Maybe you can only see those with a black light, maybe. Not much there. Okay. Under 95 bucks. Nice. Hear a little more corruption out here. Probably should clear that up. We only, we only, I, I just clear it up when I see it. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to do it. I figured if you let it fester, let it build up, it's only going to get worse. So, not, not sure if I'm doing this the right way or not, but let's just clear it up right now. How could you sleep in this place? There's no way I could.
The night is quiet. Okay. Are we just going to keep doing our job, I guess? This guy kind of left me alone the last day or so. So, yeah, I... Let's keep rocking, I guess. Well, I haven't heard that music for a little bit. This means something's about to happen. Yeah, it's usually when he appears, I think. Is that noise. That sound. So... Is he, like, in the hallway somewhere? Is he in the shower? I don't know. Whoa! Okay. Holy. <laughs> Tell me the jump scares in this game are just menacing. I kind of like the gravestones too. I'm guessing these are maybe backers of the game, like maybe Patreons or something, but this is uh, Nana Salad. Uh, had her banana mashed, whatever that is. This one said a flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. You can't see it now, but uh, it's... It must have been people, maybe Kickstarters or something like that, got to put their names on the gravestone, which is pretty cool. I respect that in the developer. Pretty cool. Well, I don't have enough money for another crucifix, and I have more corruption. I know I have some in the bathroom, and that one's... I should have taken care of that one first. That one's getting pretty big, so... I don't know. We may not make it through tonight. We'll just have to see. 256. That's a little better. Yeah, I have. I don't have enough money for more crucifixes, so... I should have taken care of that other corruption. See if we survive. There's only one corruption remaining. I was thinking, it's here. Oh my God. What? Okay. Is that the end of the game? That's it. That's, uh, I guess I lost. Possibly. Did I let the corruption go on too long? I don't know. I'm kind of miffed by, I didn't see any other bones. Am I missing the bones somehow? Do I need to dig up other graves? I was only digging up the graves that were... Close to the house. So maybe I need to go further out. Maybe I should have tried out some different graves. To try to find bones, maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's other tools I should use to try to do this. This is fun, though. I like this. I like the premise of this. I think this would be a fun little live stream game, I think. Do this maybe on live stream. So, um, Anthogen Games is the dev. Thank you for sending me a key to check out. If you guys would like to see another try another crack at this game let me know i'll gladly try it i think there's other strategies to try but i uh, really enjoyed this game so and i do recommend it eight bucks right now on steam looks like it has a long playability there's i only played on normal too there's hard and then there's nightmare also and so there's different difficulties so looks like it has some pretty good playability so all right guys see you guys later bye